Hello everyone. I wanted to try something new in this post and speak briefly about a very interesting topic for lab techs as well as doctors, which is the level of translucency in ingot selection. By sharing with you this interesting article about the medium translucent ingot MT and the other translucency levels as well. And maybe tackle some essential principles about the light optical properties and how we can implement this knowledge in better ingot selection that would integrate more with the natural key. Well, since this article was obviously published in German language, I decided to bring it on to you in a form of five minutes lecture. So hopefully you will enjoy it and find a good knowledge in it. As you all know that the choice of ingot has a significant effect on the result in the mouth rather than on the working model. But I'll be more focused here on the empty medium translucency ingot because this article was initially written to be used to, to introduce the extension of the Emacs MT color portfolio. What I really like about the MT range of ingot is that it bridges the gap between HD and LT ingots. Meaning what you see in this figure is a comparison in shade tabs among the three ingots A1 versus the actual shade guide A1. You can clearly see that the MT is the brightest. LT is the most chromatic, while HT is the most translucent and waste brightness. The MT ingots feature a high brightness value. This means that even the shade of a young teeth can be reproduced and enamel-like replacement can be created. The MT ingots are indicated for restoration that requires a significantly higher value than the HT ingots and more translucency than the, than the LT ingots. So which ingots retain more brightness and which ingots provide more masking? So on this slide, we'll see the three translucent ingots on the same 0.6 to 0.8 milli thickness, placed all of them on stump shade ND2. Well, the idea of comparing them is to figure out the role of brightness and translucency in achieving shade harmony. Starting with figure 2a here, I just placed those three veneers on ND2 stump. But they're still not touching the stump completely. Now, see the difference without the background effect here. It just as I indicated when I compared the shade tabs, empty is still the brightest here. Now in figure 2b, I pushed down those veneers to touch the stump completely, which is obviously a simulation of veneer insertion in the mouth. Now note the difference in brightness and chroma with the influence of the stump color from the background. See how MT has sustained the brightness level, while HT had the most influence of the stump. Then moving ahead to figure 2C, I wanted to check the masking property of each one of those veneers. I drew a black marking on the stump, and in figure 2D, I placed those veneers again on the stumps, and now look at the difference in the masking effect. Looks like MT and LT ingots provide similar masking effect on this thickness, which is 0 0.6, 0 0.8. Obviously, we still see the marking, but the question is which ingot was able to filter it better. In my opinion, MT ingot tends to have slightly increased masking effect here. 